We just got a brand new, highly anticipated update in The Sims 4 for babies. The life stage has been completely overhauled, adding new gameplay features, create a sim items, and of course, build stuff. They also added entirely new personality traits for infants, and today I want to see if I can build one big family home in The Sims 4 for every different kind of baby. The new personality traits are cautious, sensitive, calm, intense, wiggly, and sunny. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I woke up so early to film this because still not a game changer. Don't have early access, so cheers. We're gonna gather up as much money as possible here because this is gonna be a big one. And let's start off by building our shell. This is most likely going to be a two-story home. We're gonna have at least seven bedrooms in here. Every baby is gonna have their own room, plus we obviously need a parent room. And that means we're gonna need to have multiple bathrooms in here. So I'm just trying to make sure our shell is big enough to start. So for now, our shell is looking something like this. For roofing today, we're starting with a hipped roof and pulling that across the top floor. Then I'm using two half-hipped roof pieces to cover the side bump outs. So bringing the same one over to the other side, we're using a gabled roof piece and pulling it across the final exposed part, bringing in the adjusters on the side, and then I'm using three little gabled roof pieces for the detailing at the front. I brought in the side adjusters for those ones as well, and this is what the final roofing ended up looking like. Okay, let's add our foundation paint. I'm using this one here from Get Famous. I'm taking this quite cobbled wallpaper from Cottage Living and I think I'm just gonna put that all along the bottom layer. And then for the top floor I'm gonna be using this wallpaper here from Get Together and I'm just gonna be putting that all along everything including the roofing. I'm aiming for a very summery home today I think. I just found out recently that where I live in Canada this has been like the darkest winter we've had in 73 years. There have been very minimal like sunny days here so if you live in Ontario, Canada, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna start working on the front here. I really love this door here from Discovery University, especially in that shade. And right at the front, I'm gonna add these pergolas here from my wedding stories. On that note, I'll actually be using the matching windows here. So I'm gonna use a combination of these shutters where I can with these like plain windows here. These babies are gonna be very lucky. This is gonna be a really welcoming home. We'll add one at the front here. Maybe we can do like a smaller one up at the top. And then I was thinking about putting a big chimney, like either this one and we size it up and like stick it in there like that. That one could even work there from get together. In the back here, I've added this balcony here and a back patio. And our final details I'm adding on the house before we move on to landscaping, I think are gonna be these boxes here from Cottage Living. I also just wanna see how these would look like in between there. And I've just added a couple little like roofing details here from get together. Okay, so after all the landscaping, this is what our house turned out like. I tried to keep things very like baby focused with a few things for when they grow Grow up. Like in here, I added that little critter basket, brand new from base game. Along the back here, I thought it would be so cute if they could come out and watch the projector while the babies like play on the mat. We of course have a picnic area out here and I was getting like farm vibes from this house. So I added a chicken coop and some gardening stuff back there. We've got the swing set back here for when they grow up. And of course I've added a whole bunch of like rocking chairs, like on the balcony here. Just like some cute little details that I thought would make this house extra baby friendly. I've also done a layout, so I'm gonna go inside and show you that. It was a little tricky to get a layout here with all these bedrooms, but let me show you what we've got. So for our main floor, I kind of just shoved all of the new stuff in there, which I'll get to in a minute, but we're gonna have a main room here that's gonna have our kitchen, living room, dining, all of the main stuff right here. We're gonna have a bathroom to the left, a bedroom up to the back, and two more bedrooms down below here. I've added in the little bassinets for where the baby bedrooms go just to make it easier. And we're gonna have a bathroom right here in the corner. Then upstairs, we're gonna have a main hallway right here leading out to the balcony. We're gonna have a bathroom to the left, a baby bedroom, a parent bedroom, and then two more baby bedrooms up top. So we have a lot of bedrooms to do today. And I think I wanna get right to them. I wanna start off down below here with this one. And I guess we can just go in order. Let's make this one the cautious baby. Cautious Sims appreciate the familiar, but are slow to warm up to new experiences, locations, and Sims. I think I'm also also gonna make the bedrooms associate with like the colors of the little icons there. So this one's gonna be orange. I might do two different shades here. We could do one of those and this one from the Oasis Courtyard kit. We definitely want to use a new bassinet. So the old one, get out of here. I want to use these cute ones here. These are brand new from base game and they have this super cute window out here, but we're cautious. So maybe we won't go near the window. We'll maybe angle it so they can see it from like this side. They're a little slow to warm up to that. So the outside, 
outside is probably a little scary. Actually, what we could do is maybe they really do want to go outside. In the future, they could potentially even be like an outdoor focused sim. But for now, we're just gonna warm up to the idea. So I'm gonna do like a little outdoor themed room here. And I think also our main goal in here is gonna be to make it very comfortable. We want cozy. I might had like an entire sectional over here. So maybe the parent can come and like soothe the baby on the couch. Oh, it would be super cute if we had little baby clothes. We have kids clothes from Dream Home Decorators. So I think I'm just gonna put those up there. These lamps here are so cute with the little fogs under there. I wanna start to add some of the new clutter so we can see it. Like we've got this one with all the little toys in there. I think a mirror would be really cute right there. We're gonna do some fairy light lighting and I wanna make sure our cautious sim has curtains here. So if it gets to be too much, all they would have to do is close the curtains. I'm gonna add one of the cat lamps here from my first pet stuff. More baby clutter and maybe some books here so we could read to them. This is a really cute one here from Cottage Living. And then I wanna start to add these pillows around here from the toddler stuff pack for two reasons. One, just to add to the cozy, calming factor. And also just leaning into the cautious idea where if they fall, they're gonna be fine with pillows all over the floor. Over here, I'm adding some more shelving from Dream Home Decorator. We can put some of these cute little guys right here. How the heck did I forget about these star lights? These are so freaking cute. These are probably gonna go in so many of my kids' room builds. One of my favorite new items is this end table here. I like that it's really close to the ground. I'm gonna probably put like some toys on there or something. We can put this guy on here. He doesn't look too scary, right? Our cautious sim is gonna be totally fine with that. And this is gonna be our first baby room. It's so cute and cozy in here. I wanted it to be very comforting. Almost like a little sanctuary for the baby. They've got everything they need in here so they don't have to venture out to new experiences if they don't want to. And also I'm giving them the bassinet as opposed to one of the newer beds because they're working their way up to it. They're familiar with their bassinet. They're making their way up to the bigger crib. <laughs> okay, let's move on from this one to the next room, which is going to be over here. And I actually think for this one, that bedroom has the most windows in it. So I think we should make a sunny bedroom. They're gonna have the best view of like the outside and everything. So this is gonna be our sunny baby. Sunny Sims are bursting with smiles and giggles and enjoy engaging with other Sims, but they do require more social attention. Low key, the one that I'm most excited to make too. Our main color in here is going to be yellow. And I think I want the theme in here to be very similar as the outside. It's gonna be very summery, really bright and cheerful in here. And I like how these curtains here from City Living kind of go behind the plants that I just placed. So I'm gonna add these to my windows. I wanna replace the bassinet with one of the new like cribs. This one here is a toddler bed, by the way. It is new, so I did include it, but we're not gonna be using this today. Let's maybe use this crib here. I think this is actually my favorite one. It's the contemporary crib. Ooh, we should put this underneath here from Vintage Glamour. It kind of looks like the sun. And this cloud rug is too freaking cute not to use as well. Okay, am I gonna have room for this? Maybe we move the crib over to the corner here and we'll move the rug over to the corner so it's kind of like they can play in the sun. And unlike the cautious sim, we're gonna have our toys out everywhere, all over the floor. We've been playing with them all day. We're fine with leaving them there and like coming back to them. We're gonna put a toy box over in the corner here. And I kind of want to add some of these bigger toys here because I know that as they grow up, they can like talk to these. And these kind of big toys actually eventually increase their social skill too. So since our sunny sims are supposed to be social, we're gonna put a bunch of the big stuffies in here. I'm gonna put one of these yellow rocking chairs over here. Oh, we could do this mirror here symbolizing like we're gonna be a charismatic sim. Oh, this one's cute too. The sky cat mirror from my first pet stuff. We're gonna hold on to that one. I would also really love to put some like mushroom seating in here. They basically just act as another chair. And we're gonna need a little dresser for them, which actually this one here from Tiny Living is perfect. We don't have as much baby clutter in here yet. So I'm gonna add another shelf right there. And then on there, we can raise up some of our stuff like these wipes here. It's a little weird to me that we didn't get a changing table with this update. Maybe that's coming with the Sims 4 Growing Together pack, but I literally had to double check like we didn't get one unless I'm missing it, but I'm pretty sure it's just not here. <laughs> I need one more thing to go behind my crib. Ooh, what about this big old giraffe? He's gonna go right there. Maybe we'll even have two. There's a little baby. And okay, this is our sunny sim bedroom for our sunny baby. I think it's so cute. Yes, I am adding plants into the baby rooms. Okay, they're sims. It's literally just for decor. They're not gonna play with them. Don't worry. But I think this one turned out super cute. I love the color scheme in here. And these are like kind of cohesive as well. Let's move on to the final one from this floor, which what should we do next? Let's do the sensitive sim on this floor. Sensitive sims 
infants are prone to diaper rash and are often picky with food and can more easily become overstimulated, me, by too much play and social interaction, ugh, me. However, they also rest more peacefully through the night when soothed. And our goal for this one is to make it very plain. The sim gets overstimulated very easily. They're not interested in like too much play or interaction or anything. So I want this to be a very peaceful environment for this baby. Maybe we can use the travel crib for this one. And this is really cool because your sims can actually like fold it up and put it in their inventory and like take it with them places. So I think my goal for this one is to focus the entire theme around sleep. We want this baby to be sleeping peacefully. They need a little extra help being soothed before they can fall asleep. So we're gonna try and get the environment to help with that. I'm gonna do like thicker curtains in here so that you can really just close everything off. We're gonna want very simple decor in here, like not a whole lot going on. Maybe on this side, we'll do a big dresser right there. Some pastel pop kit art on the walls. Oh, the little sheepies. Maybe when our parent sims are like calming them, like to go to sleep, they use some of the little sheep toys to do it. We've also got some of these lights here from Parenthood. They're these starry night lights. I'm gonna put a couple of these right here and in live mode. They kind of just like move around like that. So maybe our sim can watch those to fall asleep. We're definitely also gonna be putting this moon lamp in here somewhere. For lighting in here, I think I'm gonna use some of these like base game cloud lights. Maybe one of these kids bookshelves in the corner. No clutter on top of there though. And I also wanna add a toy box, but we're gonna make sure all the toys are put away other than our sheep because the sim is just over it today. <laughs> Ooh, we've also got some of these for decor. So we've got that side all figured out. And then for this side over here, I might just put like a couple chairs. For all of these rooms, I've been wanting to make sure the parents are also comfortable if they're in here. We could also put one of the new end tables beside there, just keeping it very neat and tidy. Actually, maybe that's where our moon lamp can go. So definitely a lot less going on in this one, but still hopefully enough for our sim to feel comfortable in here, not too overstimulated, and it can be just like a nice place they can go to relax. We've got all our toys put away, no clutter really to avoid overstimulation other than our little sheepies. And okay, I feel like I should start to tackle like the main floor before we go upstairs. Our bedrooms look so cute from above there, but okay, let's figure out this main room. In the actual family home itself here, I want it to be very cozy, very like traditional family home vibes. So at the front, I like to just have some like hanging coats. I like adding clutter and like shoes and stuff near the door and bringing the theme from the outside inside. I'm going to be using a lot of like sunflower decor in here. Then coming more this way, I have this big open wall right here, which I think would be perfect for my TV and everything. So let's add a big cozy fireplace right there. I'm going to raise up a TV so it's on that ledge. We can maybe do a really big rug right here in the middle with like a huge coffee table. I want this to be a really big inviting area. So I'm actually just going to be using some of this base game seating here. We're going to do a big couch there, love seat there. And then I think on the other side, I'm going to do a couple of these chairs. We'll just kind of like angle them inwards like that. We can put an end table right behind that big couch there. And maybe one of these small ones here. This is going to shine today. I feel like it might be a little bit too low for there, but actually looking at it, I don't, I'm not so sure. We're going to put a plant over here in this corner, maybe a lamp somewhere too. And I was debating putting a coffee table, but I think I'm actually going to leave that part empty so that the kids can play there. We can maybe even add like a couple toys here near the fireplace. We're a little bit living on the edge a little bit. And I think I'm going to put some toy boxes back behind here too. So like there's going to be so much for the kids to do out here. And over to the side is where we're going to be doing our kitchen and dining. So I think I'm going to get my dining table out of the way. It's going to have to be a big one again because of all the people living here, but we're realistically only going to have two chairs here. The rest are going to have to be these little high chairs <laughs> for all the babies. And then back here is where I'm going to put all of my appliances and stuff. So we'll put my fridge there. We're going to get some counters. I'm thinking we use these counters here from Country Kitchen. We'll get our oven, maybe a sink right there. And I've been using these bath mats here and like putting them near the sink. I feel like it's just kind of like a cute, realistic little thing. I'm going to add this adorable flower lamp over here for some extra light, along with a little bit more clutter back here. All right. So this is what our main floor is looking like. We've got our living room over to the right with our fireplace, a big area for the family to hang out, watch some TV, play with the toys. Our entry area over here. Then back this way, we have our dining room with our six high chairs. We have our kitchen over to this side. And for the three bathrooms, I wanted to speed this part up and show you in some fancy stop motion. I really wanted the main focus of this video to be the baby rooms. That's why some portions are sped up so we can get right into the good stuff. Don't worry, this is never going to be a speed build channel. I've just been testing it out. So let me know what you think about these 
parts. I also built a really simple upstairs hallway with some more toys for the kids. We've also got a desk area over here for the parents. And I added one of the eco lifestyle dollhouses at the end. All right, let's move on to the next one, which is going to be our intense baby. Intense babies have big emotions and are easily entertained, but they are also more difficult to calm when in a bad mood. And the color scheme in here is going to be red. Actually, that wallpaper there could be so cute from Cottage Living. So I think everything in this one is going to be kind of bold. I want to find like a bold rug. It might be kind of hard to do the pattern on pattern though, but we're going to try. We can attempt to offset it with some plain curtains here. I'm going to use these ones from Vintage Glamour. It's so funny thinking of like a bold baby, <laughs> but like we're going to give them this red mirror here. Ooh, maybe they could end up being a music sim. And I like this one here that's actually kind of fitting for like an emotional sim. We can put up some of these cute baby shoes. I'm going to put this massive llama like here in the corner. Maybe a clock right above the bed again with the patterns. I definitely don't think we're doing our parent sim any favors here. All of these bright colors and patterns are probably going to be doing the opposite of like calming this sim down. But you can't lie, sometimes a little chaos is fun in The Sims 4. We'll add a little more stuff over here again going for like the very cluttered look in this one. Oh my gosh, and also from Nifty Knitting, we should put a bunch of these weird little toys. These are perfect and apparently they also support infants. So all these like weird little guys, they are just going in this kid's room. <laughs> I'm assuming these types of babies would maybe grow up with like an anger trait or something. So these are kind of fitting. And there we go. One thing for sure, this baby means business. We've got like those weird little toys in there, a bunch of clutter, bold patterns and stuff. And I think we actually bold it off. I think next we should do the opposite and do the calm personality trait. Calm sims like to watch the world, are less likely to cry or become angry, and don't grow tired of activities as easily as other infants. However, they are less likely to explore the world on their own. This one is gonna have like a blue color palette and I really wanna use another one of these rugs in here. So before anything, I'm gonna try and find something that'll match. Ooh, I think I wanna use that one. I think this one's gonna be very similar to the sensitive one in the way that there's not gonna be like a whole lot going on in here. I think it'll be a very peaceful, quiet room, but these sims are more comfortable playing by themselves. So I feel like I can put more toys in here than that one. It might actually be fun to do an aquatic themed room. I'm just looking through at these little like wall decals. They're actually from the bathroom kit, but we have like these fish here. I feel like it could be really cute to try something like that. So maybe we'll save this rug for the last room. This rug kind of looks like the ocean a little bit with like that gradient. So we can use that. And maybe over here on their dresser, we can give them like a fish bowl right there, right by the crib. So when they're sleeping, they can like watch the fish. I think I'm going to use this table here from the plant kit. This is where we can put some of our baby clutter. We can add one of these base game corner tables right here. Oh, these cloud shelves would have been perfect for the room downstairs, but I'm going to keep them upstairs. We can put a salt lamp in here, nice and zen for our calm baby. Maybe some little teddy bears on this shelf. I'm adding a mobile right above their bed. The final thing I'm going to put in here is going to be at this toy box right there. It matches like the corner end table that I put. And this is our calm baby, our aquatic themed bedroom. This one is so cute with those wall decals on there. I love like the little bubbles and the wallpaper just matches so well with it. Again, we've got the traveling baby crib. They can watch the mobile or the fishies over here. Tons of toys and stuff for them to do over there to keep them busy. And we have one more baby room to go. This is going to be the Wiggly Baby. Wiggly Sims are always on the go and want to play and move about. However, they often struggle to fall asleep or pay attention for extended periods of time. So for our Wiggly Baby, the color scheme is kind of like a pink, orange, and yellow going on. So I'm wondering if I should do something like this in here with that high school years wallpaper. We're again gonna have like a lot going on in here. What if we even did like a crazy wallpaper scheme like that? We'll do this crib here for this one. Ooh, this is a cool color scheme on this dresser too with like the little hearts on there. This room is gonna have a lot going on, but in like a nice, not evil way. <laughs> like the intense baby. We'll put a lot of toys. Look how cute that one is. And I think I'm gonna want things that'll add to the movement skills. So I'm adding these like blocks in here. We'll do a toy box over on this side. Uni can go over here too. I'm adding some of these tiny living pictures over here. This is definitely the most colorful baby so far. And I'm actually feeling like because this baby is supposed to be like moving around so much, we should actually give them the travel crib so that their parents can like allow them to move around. I really like the cat lamp we used downstairs. So I'm going to bring that up here too. We can even put confetti on the walls. I don't know. To me, this just like reminds me of a moving sim. There's like a rocket ship right there. And then I think I'm just going to use some of these shelves here for 
from high school years and fill those up with the baby clutter. All right, so this is our wiggly baby room. Definitely so colorful, bold, but in a nice way. We've got the travel crib so they can move around. We've got our toys revolving around like the movement skill in here. All of our baby clutter and of course a place for the parents to sit. I love that that one is really like colorful and fun. I don't know which one my favorite was in this build though. I do have one more room to do. I'm gonna have to do the parent bedroom in the back here. These poor parents are gonna be so busy with all these babies. So I'm gonna try and give them a really calm, relaxing room. They can come up here and unwind, hopefully. We'll give them a cute dresser over here. Also maybe with this like couch slash ottoman here. That's from the pastel pop kit. We'll do maybe some mirrors on that wall there. Although I would really love to give them like a TV they could watch. Maybe I can put an end table over here. Like this one there, we can put just a small TV that they can watch like at night by themselves. Just like that there. We'll do plant over here in the corner, a rug underneath there from high school years, a tapestry over here in the corner. And actually I don't really have a skill at all for this poor parent sim up here other than of course parenting. So I'm gonna put an easel in that corner for them along with some of these pictures from Eco Lifestyle so that hopefully they can have like a hobby when they're not so busy. And there we go, we've got our parent bedroom in here. Hopefully they can find some relaxation going on. They're gonna have a very busy life for a while, but at least all of our babies here will be happy. Let me know which one was your favorite here. I don't know. I gotta say I really liked the sunny bedroom over here. The sensitive one was also really cute. I don't know. Let me know which one you guys like the best and how you're liking the infant update so far. And if you guys like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.